Hey guys, Yankee here, and today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on High School DxD Volume 1 with, what is the subtitle here, uh, Diablos of the Old School Building. Uh, so before I get into this, I'll just quickly go over my history with DxD real quick. Uh, I saw the first three anime seasons, liked them well enough, read the first novel fan translated shortly after that, and then sort of fell off, so I'm just sort of coming back into this series. Um, and this volume was, like, I still remembered a bit of it, but I didn't quite have all the details, so it was a lot of fun going back and reading this again. Um, so it opens with an introduction to our main character, uh, Hyodo Issei. He is a high school boy, he is a pervert, uh, and he really, really wants a girlfriend. And eventually he gets a girl that approaches him and asks him on a date. And like the start of this book is just him taking this girl around like that he had planned this whole date for them everything's going well and then she kills him and that's the opening of our book like <laughs> killing the main character like right at the beginning is a it's a good hook and once he comes back like wakes up and he's just alive um it's really interesting because you're trying to figure out what happened. How did this happen? You have a, a decent idea, but you're not quite sure on the details. Um, and so the girl that had been taking him around was Amano Yuma. And we later learned that she is a fallen angel. And she killed Issei because he has... Oh, what are they called? Do I have them written down? Uh, I don't have them written down. Um, basically, people sometimes have abilities. Um where they have, like, either weapons that they summon, which is sort of what Issei has. He has a special gauntlet, which I'll talk about more later. Um, there's another character that's ability is they can, like, um, heal people. Um, so that's why he was killed, and we learn about that later. Um, but Issei is killed. He's just a normal human with a special ability. And he is saved by Rhea Scremory, the redhead on the cover. And she is a demon, and she has a, um, like, a group of demons that she is sort of in command of. Uh, and we get a decent bit of information about how sort of demon, like, not really society, but, like, how demons work here, and sort of how they build their, um, what they call them familias in the book, right? So, uh, demons really like chess, and so that's sort of how... They sort of structure their uh, familias, where uh, people are brought in as pieces. So Rias is the, uh, she's the king. Um, and then we're introduced to other characters in the um, familia, which are at school under the guise of an occult research club. Um, so the other members of the familia are Yuto Kiba, who is a knight, I think. Um, we've got... Koneko Tojo, who I think was a rook. And then we have Akeno Himejima, who is the queen. And so, like, each one of them corresponds to a chess piece, and they get, like, a, a boost in their abilities based on that. Like, um, again, I think Kiba was a knight. I should have written it down, but I didn't. Um, so that gives him, like, a boost to his swordsmanship or something. Um, Koneko is a rook, and she gets some strength. Uh, and then, I don't, I don't remember what Akeno gets, but, uh, she's a queen, so she's also strong, right? And so we learn that, uh, Issei's a pawn, he's one of the, you know, weaker pieces, but we also learn sort of the, uh, benefits of those pieces, like how, um, a pawn has the ability to take on the attributes of other pieces, uh, what is it called? I, I, there's like a chess term for it that I just don't remember. Like where the pe like a pawn can upgrade to a queen or a rook or a bishop. Um, so that's really interesting. I like the chess stuff going on in here. Um, but yeah, uh, Issei has now become a demon um, to save him. Like Rias did this to save him or else he would have died. And now he's just trying to fit in with this group of demons, right? trying to make something of himself because again he is a pervert he dreams about having a harem of beautiful girls um and Rhea sort of dangles uh in front of him a way to get that right like demons can advance and achieve that right 
so he's trying to work his way up and he's sort of doing odd odd jobs right where he's like delivering um summoning circles that are on paper so people can summon demons uh and then later on we are uh, he is um going and answering um those calls right people try and summon a demon and he's sent off to help them do what they want um and there's a really interesting sort of dynamic with him and the people that are calling him where he isn't able to sort of give them what they want because we see that people's lives have a set value so like just a random guy can't ask to be rich because his soul or whatever they take isn't equal to that um and so Issei's going off being sent off to uh, talk to people and make contracts with them and he's just sort of hanging out with them and then coming back empty-handed and not really getting things done so we get a lot of like him being frustrated with having to work his way up from the bottom we have Rhea sort of being frustrated with him for not actually being able to properly get contracts done um and so that's really neat like we're again the stuff about how demons are working I think is really interesting like all the chess stuff like sort of how you're, you're coming in and you're sort of working from the bottom and you're making your way up uh, and then we have the other main female character, which is also on the cover. Uh, what is her name? Asya, which I don't know if she has a last name. I didn't. I don't have it written down. She is a nun, so I just have Sister Asya written down. Um, again, she is a nun that Issei uh, bumps into and sort of befriends. He's a demon. She is a member of the church, so it's a bit iffy. Um, but they hit it off. He befriends her and sort of brings her to the church because she is a foreigner. She's sort of lost, doesn't know uh, her way around. Um, and Issei being a demon, one of the abilities they get is basically the ability to understand like all languages. I forget exactly how it was explained, but like he's able to comprehend Asya, who is speaking like English or something. And when he speaks back to her, um, it sounds to her like he is speaking in her language, which again, some of the abilities and stuff demons get are neat. Um, so they hit it off and become friends. Uh, we meet a priest called Father Freed, um, who is just psychotic. He is, um, he's not an actual priest anymore. He's sort of been expelled and he's just more in it for killing demons, right? He's working with fallen angels who obviously are fallen angels, so they're not in good with God, things like that. Um, and we also learn that, Rain, this is where we learn that Rainer is a fallen angel, and she is working with Father Freed and Sister Asya because uh, Sister Asya is the one with the ability to heal people. Um, is it called, like, sacred gear or something like that, I think? Um, anyway, so she's able to heal people, but she's not able to just heal humans. She's able to heal uh, demons and fallen angels and she had been in good with the church and she had been sort of revered um, but she eventually like healed the demon which is why she sort of got sent away and then was able to be scooped up by um, an, an evil priest and some fallen angels right um, what do we got here uh, so basically Asya is being sacrificed to get her ability. Uh, Rainer wants it for herself, and Father Freed's helping. And so Issei, who has now befriended her, doesn't want that to happen, and so him, Koneko, and um, Kiba charge into this church where they're operating and try and save her. Um, it's too late, Asya dies, Rainer gets her power, and Issei fights Rainer, who was the girl that killed him. Um, and we learn that, we learn about his sacred gear, right? Um, what is it called? A boosted gear, uh, Gauntlet of the Red Dragon Emperor. So uh, at first it seemed like his ability was just like double his strength. Um, but the actual ability is that he just, he keeps getting boosted, 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 keeps doubling his ability over and over and over and over. It just takes a long time to build up. So while 
he's he's not particularly strong himself. He keeps doubling his strength until he's he is incredibly powerful. Um, but again, the drawback is it takes forever. Um, so we get a fight. Um, you say, and everybody wins. Um, Rias shows up, and we finish off um, Rainer. Uh, Asia, who is now dead, Rias takes her in and makes her a bishop. And so now she is part of the, what is it, uh, Grimory Familia, I think. Um, and we also get a bit more information about how the chess thing works, where um, you can use multiple pieces on um, a person to sort of convert them into a demon, but you can't mix pieces. So you can't use a knight and a rook and give it to one person, but you can use both knights if it takes that much to sort of save them. Um, and we learned that when Rias went to save Issei, the only way that she could actually save his life was to use all eight of her pawns. And so this whole volume was Issei sort of down on himself, like, okay, I'm, I'm messing everything up. How am I supposed to sort of advance and become some great person, great demon, like I want to? And so by the end, where it's like, okay, you think you're a pawn, the pawn's actually pretty strong, and you're not just a pawn, you're all of my pawns. You've, you use them all, I use them all on you. Um, so by the end, Issei has, you know, a, a good, is in good with the group, he's got Asia now, who he's friends with, and is sort of um, now her senior, and is sort of trying to help her along, uh, and he is sort of his attitude has changed, and he's, again, trying to work his way up. Um, this is a really fun volume, a great introduction. Um, again, I like all the stuff going on with the demons. There's the hints of things to come, where we have um, another member of the of Rias' Familia, who we just haven't seen yet. They were just teased. Um, the history of, like, a, a, like um, fallen angels... Um, angels and demons just sort of fighting, um, how demons sort of really like chess and sort of play games with it. Like, we get to talk about that, where we don't really see it this volume, but um, the chess pieces aren't just for fun. Like, they compete. Demons compete against each other, like, in a chess-like game. Um, if I remember it right from the anime, it's not actually chess. It's just a battle where everybody's got chess pieces as sort of their group, um, but it's not like people taking individual turns and things like that. Um, so yeah, a really strong volume right at the start. Um, enough, like, background on sort of what's going on to get me intrigued, and hints for things to come that I think seem interesting. Um, so overall, uh, this first volume was really, really good. I really enjoyed it, um, and I'm excited to keep going through the series. Uh, so yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.